come down to feed the cat and look who's up. It's Patsy. Can you, Pam? She's very angry with Ian. Good morning, Pats. Your hair looks bushy today. She's getting braver now. She's been in the house a couple of days and look who's here. It's lovely. Oh, here's Pam. I've got to feed the cats. They're all circling around my feet like sharks. Ah, look at them. Oh, don't they look nice? These are sourdough crumpets. I don't really like ordinary sourdough, but I love sourdough crumpets. I do find sourdough a bit too... Uh... Oh, look. A bit too sour. <laughs> but I love these with plenty of butter and a little bit of marmite. I've also got, of course, a special favourite. Oh, dog circling. Look at you. He's coming. Hey, hey, hey. I forgot to show you. I did number two yesterday. <laughs> that sounds bad. I did box number two of my jigsaw yesterday. And I've got box number three ready. But I'm not going to do it yet because I've got to do a little bit of work. I'll tell you what. It is hard. I don't know if it's because like, with a big jigsaw you've got... Well, I don't know. I don't know what my excuse is. But I am finding it hard. And I'm having to put a lot of effort into it. But I am enjoying it. I'm in my sewing cubby. This is my work area. I've got the ironing board set up here all the time. If you can hear someone going... Hmm, it's because the boiler's up there. I've got an idea, and I've had an idea for a little while, for some bags. Uh, and I'm going to give it a go and see if I can do this idea that I've got in my head. I don't know whether I can or whether it's going to be a load of rubbish, but we'll, we'll see. It involves fur. Not real animal fur, but this lovely soft fur. So I'm going to give it a go with this pink bit first and then if it works I might make some more. I don't know whether it will or whether it's going to be a load of rubbish. I might have woken up with a bit of a cold but I don't know whether it is. I've just got quite an itchy nose and a bit of an itchy throat as well. But I don't know whether it's going to come to anything or not. Well I've got to go because I can't stop thinking about this idea. Right. Quite a lot of time has elapsed since I last saw you. Johnny's girlfriend has been round, is round, and she has um, bought me a box of chocolates for my birthday. And I've been eating those whilst I've been making this bag, which has taken me ages. I like it, I really do like it, but I don't know if anybody else will. It's an idea I've had for a, a little while. Yeah, I do like it. It's a, a bear bag with a bow in its hair and some ears. And this bag has got two skeins in it and it's lined in the same fabric that the, the hair bow is made out of. It's a zip bag. Do you like it? I really like it. It's ever so soft. Lovely pink. So I've got some white fur. I might try and make a cat next, but I haven't got very good cat eyes, so I could make a polar bear. I think I'm going to try one of those next. But first I think I might have a cup of tea. Oh, I like her. Do you like it? I don't know if you can see it very well. Oh, I think it's nice. I need to make a thing for the zip though. Do you like this fabric? This is what I've um I've lined it in. It's ever so pretty, you can't really tell. It's it's uh, a really nice blue and pink and it matches the the pink fur really nicely. Right, I'm gonna stop for a cup of tea and then I'm gonna have a go with the white fur and see how I get on with that. And I've got a cocoa cottage pie. Oh, blimey, I didn't realise what the time is. I don't know if I'm going to have time to do a white one. I could get it all cut out and ready for tomorrow. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. Me and James are going to try our first chocolate Santa in a little while. Well, he, 
he's gone to town with Lizzie, so we'll we'll try it probably after tea tonight. And I say breakfast, dinner, and tea. Some of you will say breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah, I'm pleased with that. You can sit up there, can't you? There. Right, I'm going to have a cup of tea. I'll see you in a little while. I still haven't stopped for a cup of tea. I've had a can of Coke and I've had nearly a whole box of Miniature Heroes. Oh, they're not called Miniature Heroes anymore, are they? They're called Heroes, which is my favourite. Uh, you know, like, you can buy tubs of chocolates at Christmas, like Quality Street, Roses, Celebrations. Heroes are my favourite. I don't think you can go wrong with them. That like I could put my hand in, close my eyes, and I'd be happy what with whatever I pulled out. But with like a celebration, I'd want to know what I was getting, as I would with a Quality Street or a Roses. But I I like everything in a packet of Heroes. Anyway, once I get going with something, I can't stop chocolates and working stuff so i've finished that one up there and i've just made a white one as well but this one's got a bow tie instead of a hair a hair bow and it's it's lined in the same stuff but that'll do for today because it's a lot later than i was expecting oh it's yeah i've got to sit down because otherwise i'm gonna have to get back up again in a minute to cook the food James and Lizzie still aren't back. I don't mind though. <sighs> well, I've had a lovely time. Doug is here. This is where he sits. So this is my sewing table. And behind my sewing table, or in front of it, whatever way you want to th think of it, he is on the radiator, which is right next to it. So he's with me all day. And then when I go and sit down at night time, he usually comes and sit on my lap as well. Right, I'm going to go and have a coffee. I'll see you in a little while. What do you think? <laughs> I like them. I don't really like working with this sort of fluffy fabric for bags, but I might make a couple more. I'd quite like to make a brown one. I like them. I'll stick them in my shop on my shop update on Sunday night, Saturday night. I was going to sit and read my book, but I got distracted by these knitting patterns. Look at this one here. This is one of the books that James's mum got me. Lillian's with me. Ruffles by Ro Rowan for Quail Studio. And I really like this one. I think I'd wear that a lot if I made it in navy blue. Is that two layers of ruffles? I think it is. I'm going to have a look at the pattern. But that's nice, isn't it? I just thought I'd show you it. I'll see if there's any more that take my fancy. Oh. That's Lillian's fur. <laughs> oh. This is another one I like. Once again, navy blue. I'd wear it all the time. I like that shape neck and i really like doing cables this one is in this book here mohair for rowing by quail studios free with yarn purchase oh yeah i really like that it's nice isn't it last but not least for today because my battery's about to go and i can't be bothered to go and plug it in at the minute look at this nice scarf my meg would like that I couldn't work out how it was done until I just went and had a look at the pattern. It's nice, isn't it? I really like that. Right, I am going to read my book now. Finish this coffee. Cool, I really like this scarf. I'm going to have a proper look at the pattern now. Hello, everyone. We're going to start our... He had just had a, a, a coat on that said the gym that he works for. And then... I said, you need to take that off, that'll identify where we are. And he just said, does that, that, this won't, will it? <laughs> I think we're all right. 
um we're gonna start our serious taste test now but it's not serious so don't think we're gonna be like identifying notes of jasmine or anything like that because that's not what this is just for fun so i've made of a, a judging criteria for this year james so there is a potential to score 51 points for the for the christmas santa so the things we're going to be judging on is number one jolliness slash creepiness of face of father christmas so the more jolly the more points it will get us out of 10. number two the festiveness of the colors and design number three the engraving of underneath the foil yep. number four the thickness of the chocolate number five the taste and there is an extra point to get just like the fastest lap point in the f1 just one point fastest lap we said slap if there is a matching reindeer what do you mean well some of these um chocolate santas you can buy a reindeer is that what we're... <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh so um, if you'd like to select one at random, I am going to make a proper chart, but I haven't had the time for that yet. And he's forgot already that we've told him to be quiet. Hang on. Oh, everyone's turned up now. So James is going to go and select uh, Father Christmas from over there at random. I'm hot. I think I'm going to have to take this jump off. And then we'll see. I've been cooking a shepherd's pie. I don't like this, so I don't pick there are, yeah, all right. This? Yeah. All right, okay. So this one, I can tell you, it comes from TK Maxx. And the make is... Aren't these going to be all exactly the same? Nah. I've got Cadbury's one over there. Cadbury's chocolate doesn't taste like other chocolate, does it? This is a... Hollow fibre from milk chocolate, cocoa solid minimum. So boring, you can't read that. Just <laughs> like that. Oh, here we are. This is what it is. That's the make. Would you like to tell everybody at home nope. what that is? Nope. <laughs> and he costs £2.29. He's good shape, isn't is that he? Expensive? They are all about £2, apart from the ones from the, the like, cheaper shops. What do you reckon to him then? He's all right, isn't he? It's quite big compared to the others as well. Hello, James. <laughs> right. So the first thing we're going to score on today, actually, yeah, there is a potential to score 10 per section, but we're going to do it out of five each. What? And then what? so you, the jolliness of his face. That's so worth two points. No, it's what? worth five points. Well, then that'll be. 25 points. No, it won't. Because we're going to do out of five each. So if I think he's jolly, really jolly, I'll so give him five. So it's going to be out of 50 each. Each Is section. Is this a maximum of 50? A maximum of 51 if there's a reindeer. Oh, okay. So it's out of five per thing. So you've got to say how jolly you think his face is. <laughs> <laughs> or do you think he's creepy? <laughs> If he's creepy, well, he gets well, one. If he's really creepy, does he get five? He gets a one. So you creepy want... two. Father Jolly's Christmas maximum isn't. Yeah. Five. Father Christmas isn't creepy. You don't want a creepy old fella coming he's in not your creepy. house. No, he's not, is he? But I've got a problem with him. I wonder if you've got the same problem. I haven't got any problems with him. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't like his lips. Yeah, they've... he's got lipstick. I don't like his lips. I wish they were the same colour of his face. I haven't got anything against him wearing a bit of rouge on his lips if he wants, but I don't like it for him. So I'm going to have to mark him down for that. It's like when I've got that teeth whitening pink stuff. Oh, yeah. I have pink lips because it dyes with gums. He's got pink toothpaste and it makes him go to work like this, <laughs> doesn't it? So, James, what are you going to give him out of jolliness for his face? Oh, I don't know. Three. Yeah, I'm going to give him a three as well. 
He's got no side brows, no size. He's got crinkles round his eyes as well, which says, says that he's smiling. Right, so the next judging criteria is the festiveness of the colours and the designs. So you can see... <laughs> They're all going to be red. <laughs> no, be the same. but look, he's got a bag of presents. He's got gold yeah, on him. He's pretty good. He's got presents in his bag. He's got a gold buckle. I like his gloves cuffs this is pretty good he's got fluff around his cuffs he's even got a buckle on his shoes he's all right isn't he yeah, it's pretty good. the only thing I, I would like a blue present in there i don't like the the colors really i'd rather it had a bit more blue in it but i'd say overall look they haven't got look, look they've got a pot on the back look his belt only goes half the way around james mm. well three quarters of the way Right, so I'm going to give him a three for that as well. What are you going to give him for festiveness of colours and design? Three. A three. Right, we're now going to unsheath him. <laughs> and we'll just have a look at the engraving. Oh, it's nice. <gasps> it's better than the, <laughs> than the front. Look at him. I do think it could... No. <laughs> Get him in. Don't you get him. <laughs> <laughs> I do do think it, <gasps> it's, quite it's better underneath than it is on the top. We're going to eat the whole thing now because you've taken all of the wrapper off. Yeah, but we've got three children. They'll all uh -huh. have a bit of this with a cup of tea later. So look how nice he is underneath. He's got a teddy bear presents, a present with a bow. His face underneath is better than it is on the top. Look at that lovely bag of gifts. Turn him round. They've even made the effort of doing the... Oh, they're fight. No, they're playing. Lillian and um, Ian play. It's ever so sweet. They've even made the effort of putting fur detailing on him. So I can't... I can't... What's funny? Carry on. Carry on. <laughs> Just face him forward and carry on. Come on. I'm not doing this. Come on. Um. <laughs> Come on. So James, what will you give the, engra the engraving appearance? <laughs> um, it's pretty good. It's all right. I think I'm gonna to have to give it a five. It's of course, it is. What do you think then? Oh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, it's pretty good. Four. Four. Who's done with that scarf? Right. Come on. Thickness. Come on, let's go. Left, now we've got to break him in half and see how thick it is. So you have a look. No! Ow. That's going to go everywhere. <laughs> oh. <You> went... <laughs> <laughs> right. It's not very thick. No. But it's all right. I'm going to give, give it a two for thickness, James. What about you? Mm. Yes. Now taste. Just tastes like chocolate, doesn't it? Cheap old chocolate. Not, Not my great. sort of thing. I'm well, going to give it a that. two. What are you going to give it for taste? No, I don't know. A 
I think we can do a lot. Tastes like um, lemon. What they called? Advent I think, calendar um, chocolate. When I was little. Yeah, yeah. So what are you going to give it out of a five? Well, I mean, just saying, like how nice the chocolate is. Oh, hello, Ian. Yeah. Yeah, probably two. It's not right. great. And I'll con right. confirm there is no matching reindeer, so there's no bonus, bonus point for this particular Father Christmas. So I'm going to leave it there for this particular test. I'll add up the points and I'll put it on our chart. For <laughs> I'll put it on the chart for tomorrow, if you've got time tomorrow to do another one. We've got to go to some other various places and I'll um, find some. Yeah, because you go past quite a few different shops, don't you, on your way home? I've got a few, but I haven't got very many. Well, we'd better go because I've to eat one of these every day, have we? Not every day, darling. No. Most days. Oh, I've got a cottage pie in the oven and I've got a pan of swede on the hob. So I'm gonna go and tend to that. So you are excused. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, you are excused. Please do not discuss the case amongst yourselves with other people. Do not watch any media. See you in a minute. Oh, look at that. Proper gravy made with the meat juices and some parsnips. Oh, lovely. They've got honey on them. Hello. Oh, I really enjoyed my tea. It was just right. It's rained all day today. And it looks like it's going to be raining all day tomorrow and all day Tuesday as well. And I don't mind that at all. I love rainy days. I've had another nice day today. I'm going to go and watch some Downton Abbey now with Lizzie. And do some knitting on even my socks with my beehive yarns that I opened on my birthday. Or I might do a little bit more on my cardigan because I would like to get that finished really. But I haven't knitted socks in such a long time that it's, they're sort of like a novelty for me. <clears throat> I don't think I've got a cold. I don't know though. Sometimes I think I do and sometimes I think I, I don't. I don't know what's going on. We've got two armor celebrities to watch tonight, which means I'm going to get two good hours of book reading done. So that's what I tend to do. I have it on my lap when that's on. But... I'm going to say goodbye for tonight and I'll see you in the morning. Thank you for watching everybody. Did, was I going to tell you anything else? I don't think so. So, good night. See you in the morning. Bye.